This is the Sharp Aquas Crystal, a smartphone released 6 years ago in 2014. The first thing you'd notice when looking at this device is its unusual display, which was its main selling point. However, this phone was a failure and never really took off. And in this video, we'll be discussing the first ever true bezel-less display smartphone and why it never gained any traction despite being drastically different from any phone of its time. I'll be covering each aspect of this phone and showing you exactly why it failed. But firstly, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel and if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also turn on that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm also on Instagram and Discord as well, to which I post teasers and behind the scenes and all the other stuff that I don't post on my YouTube channel too. You can find me on those using the links down in the description below. Alright, let's jump right in. I do have to point out that the unit I have with me is faulty and cannot be accessed beyond the error message as seen here. This is a common issue with this phone and as far as I can tell, it cannot be fixed. Therefore, all what I can say in this video is based on online research. So first, let's talk about a bit of history. The year was 2014, which was a year of drastic change in the smartphone market. A time where the iPhone 5S and Samsung Galaxy S5 dominated phone sales. This would also be the last year that LG would enjoy seamless success right before the G4 boot loop of the following year. Amidst all this, Sharp, a company better known for their home appliances, came out to the US market with a phone that was very unusual for its time, the Sharp Aquas Crystal or the Sharp Aquas 306SH. The very unusual looking phone took the market by surprise and was initially well received. Its almost completely bezel-less display and low price of a mere $150 to match seemed too good to be true. Taking a closer look at the phone and we can see why people were so surprised by it. At a time where bezel-less phones were just concepts, Sharp had managed to create a phone that looked something right out of a futuristic movie making it the first true bezel-less smartphone on sale. For its time, the impressive 78% screen-to-body ratio was very eye-catching and set it apart from the competition. However, like I mentioned earlier, the phone was a failure and never saw popularity beyond its initial announcement. So why was it such an abysmal failure and why did Sharp pull out of the US market and never return? Hint, the reasons are quite unsurprising. So now let's discuss specifications starting with the display. Its 5-inch display, despite being the main selling factor of the phone and being almost entirely borderless, was mostly nothing out of the ordinary. It was a simple IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen with a 720p resolution and a pixel density of 294 pixels per inch. It was just your run-of-the-mill LCD panel for its time and performed as it should. The bezel-less design also brought about concerns about durability of the display and I'm sure this was another factor as to why people of the time avoided it. The phone also suffered from touchscreen sensitivity issues while typing. The large bottom chin houses the sensors and front-facing camera. And you may ask, how does one take calls on that thing? Turn it upside down? The simple answer is no. You just place it to your ear like any other phone and the display itself vibrates near your ear to produce the sound. This vibrating screen technology is quite common even today. Under the hood, we can see that the Sharp Aquas Crystal had decent specs for its time. It featured a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor clocked in at 1.2 GHz on a 28nm process. It used an Adreno 305 as its GPU. It had 1.5 gigs of RAM as well as 8 gigs of internal storage and an SD card slot for expansion. However, with specs comparable to other budget phones of its era, the Aquas Crystal underperformed when compared. It slowed down while multitasking or gaming, which caused a lot of lag and frame drops. Its near stock Android experience didn't help it much either. Phones like the identically priced Moto G first gen outperformed it very easily. The Sharp Aquas Crystal shipped with Android 4.4.2 KitKat and was unfortunately not upgradable to Android Lollipop. It's almost stock Android with a few bloat apps from the network it's on. Despite the relatively bloat-free experience, as mentioned earlier, it had trouble performing which was one of its biggest reasons that it failed to sell. 
The main camera was an 8 megapixel autofocus camera with a single LED flash. It can record video at 1080p at 30 frames per second. The front camera was a basic 1.2 megapixel sensor located at the bottom of the phone. According to reviews, the camera on this phone was extremely mediocre and was easily outperformed by other smartphones in its price range. Here are some samples from Android Authority's review on this phone, and as you can see, the colors are washed out and the details are very bland. The HDR setting made everything look even worse and had really bad dynamic range. Since camera quality is an important consideration to anyone purchasing a new phone, many would have steered away from it when they saw the bad reviews. The 2040 mAh battery was considered as mediocre and many people complained about the battery not even lasting through half a day of heavy use. The phone also had Harman Kardon Clarify tuning built into its audio jack and Bluetooth which gave the audio quality a bit of a boost. So finally, as you can see, the Sharp Aquas Crystal, despite looking very unique and having a good value for money, was just not an overall good performer to compete with the rest. Its various issues and mediocre performance, camera and battery life made people opt for phones like the Motorola Moto G and Samsung Galaxy S5 Mini instead. This was Sharp's first and last Korea-based offering in the US and they pulled back on sales of the phone and never officially returned to the US ever again. I personally feel like Sharp pulled the plug too early and could have easily stayed a bit longer in the US to prove that they could have done better. Proof of this is the Sharp Aquas Crystal 2, which is a well-priced amazing looking phone that ironed out all the flaws from the first one. Sadly, it was not officially available on contract in the US and could only be bought from Japan. They improved even further with the Aquas Double X. So finally, that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel and if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.